Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we are getting into the second game of Patience versus Jack G. Yes, because uh, it seems that these guys really wanted to get into their series fast, and we missed getting into the first Apparently, game. they wanted to play it fast, too. It wasn't such a long game, which Jack G won on Daybreak. Mm -hmm. And now we're on Vanny Research Station. Yeah, let's Your jump Your favorite in. map. Oh, yeah. I love it. PTSD has versus Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never look at this map the same after after that event. It was it was a special. I'll never one. look at you the same. No, I, I don't think anybody will. Um, <laughs> well, patience is already moving across the map here with this pro very very quickly and taking a little bit of a scenic route uh, to not only look at that scenery but also avoid Jack G. Cheeky yeah. guy. A gas first here from Jack G going to be used uh, on this map. And in game one, actually, like I caught a glimpse of it. Uh, Mm -hmm. Not sure exactly what happened. Like he was quite a bit ahead in supply, so that's that's what I saw when I say I caught a glimpse. I didn't see any aggression or anything. So maybe he, he opened aggressive, did some damage, and then finished it up with a follow-up attack. So mm -hmm. not bad, I guess. Like being up 1-0 against the recent Home Story Cup winner. Yeah, we looked very good there. Yes, it's the did. time for the Terrans, man. Time of the Terrans. And before patience, two ones, and then. <laughs> crushes innovation next round and then like just like <laughs> go through all of them this bracket actually is probably the most ridiculous mm -hmm. you know it's like it's, it's a big bracket but technically it's like four mini brackets right that's yep, the yep. way it shows them on liquipedia in that last bracket right now the winner of jack g versus patience will face innovation mm -hmm. that's not even the qualifying match then the winner of that will face either sue or dream or cloudy mm -hmm. and like of players that were eliminated earlier there was like um, Impact has lost to Sue. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, basically, a lot of good players. Hurricane lost to Innovation earlier. That was when Jack G beat Hush. Yeah. So very, very stacked. Yeah, very, very. Um, it's that's how it always is with these IEM qualifiers, IEM Top Extreme Masters qualifiers. It's always a great treat that we have to uh, cast the Korean ones, especially. And uh, as we said yesterday. Normally, the winner of the entire tournament comes from those. Um, back when we had like European qualifiers, American qualifiers, all of this Oops. stuff. You I know, meant, I meant to message someone. That was score. Oh, I'm okay. trying to find out uh, <laughs> the score of Snoot versus Sorry. Ah, okay. Because that bracket is the one just above the one uh, we're uh, we're observing right now. And in that, if Snoot beats Sorry, he faces Bunny next. Mm. Korean Bunny, not not the liquid uh, Danish one. Yep. And then uh, that would be the round of 16, aka he needs to beat Bunny and then win another match. But below that, Ayasanu went on a tear mm -hmm. and he beats Tails and then Biol. So it's actually only non Koreans. Uh, or actually, no, never mind, they're trapped. So Ayasanu is waiting in round of 16 and he will face Kelazo or Trap. Oh, nice. So this bracket is also super interesting. I feel like there is just like four mini amazing tournaments yeah. basically that we're trying to follow at the same time. But it's really tough because we can only show one game. Luckily, I guess, technically, there is a lot of streams. Yeah. So you guys uh, can I mean, use your 17 monitors to watch everything. When Todd's saying that, he's not kidding how excited he is about these things. He was trying to petition earlier to me the idea of us both joining different games <laughs> so that we could catch as much as possible. So oh, I tried to do it, actually, <laughs> even though yeah, <laughs> even though we're not supposed to, but I felt like it. Yeah. They, Sorry, wouldn't, they wouldn't let me in. Oh, well, next time, next time, when we've got more hands than a four between us. As uh, for now, there's going to be this drop coming out from Jack G, Marines, as well as Widow Mine. Nothing else following it up just yet. Just getting two siege tanks out and yeah. might push with the two siege tanks and Marines afterwards. And Jack G, yeah, he, he paid attention to him, so he, he knows that his opponent likes Blink Stalkers. To get tanks mm. like this is very nice defensively, but also later when you want to attack. And with the way Jack G was. Uh, was basically very successful earlier against Hush with those tanks and attacks. I'm not surprised that he's playing the way he is here right now. Do what? What? Double overcharge? Yeah, they killed off that Widowmine very quickly at least. Uh, and now even just kind of dealing a little bit with the Marines, but they're just working away on that simulator at the moment. Just slightly out of range, and their photon overcharge has disappeared. Now another one's going to be thrown up. Observer keeping an eye on what's going on at the back, and we'll see tanks popping as well as a Liberator about to come out. That was nice from Jack G. Four probes sniped. From there, uh, he's ahead on the SCV count just by one. Needs to start some production facilities. He gets the third CC before. Mm -hmm. And on this map, uh, I mean, I can't blame him. 
Jeez, Patient's making a lot of observers, trying to keep eyes on absolutely everything. He knows he's got to keep eyes on the perimeters at least. Yeah. He's getting a fifth one right now. He's going full pick baby on us. Yeah. Two more and he will be there. Where are we at? One, two, three, four. Oh, that was the fourth, actually, over here. Don't know why it cycled through to the third one again. But anyway, Liberator on the right-hand side has been spotted by an Observer, so at least he's keeping eyes on that. Trap in a Forge as well. And on the left-hand side, small contingent with that first Siege Tank, and the second Siege Tank is slowly following behind. So this could pose a threat if he gets drawn out of position. Oh, Snook lost to Sorry. Oh, sorry. So sorry against Bunny. Mm -hmm. um, Robo Bay going down as well. Patience. Got to be just that for the moment, as those two siege tanks are going to do a lot of damage if he's not careful. Focusing on the pylon to start things off, and actually that's allowing these stalkers to focus on marines. He's going to blink forwards here after bringing down a few of the marines before with those siege tanks killing off. <laughs> what the? This is typical patience. <laughs> <laughs> Why? The two Calm siege tanks. Yeah, whatever. Never mind. The two <laughs> siege tank shots on the pylon. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it was weird, yeah, but I mean, out of patience, you can always expect this blink forwards. That guy does not hesitate one bit. He always goes for it when he needs to. I was wondering, actually, because he opened blink, whether he wanted to play aggressive or not. And I guess after you get such a convincing defense like he just got, mm -hmm. it's super encouraging to, especially if you have a war prism on the way, to actually go across the map, try and do some damage with your blink stalkers. Because a lot of the time you're going to be doing free damage. You're just going to be trading shields, blinking back, and saving everything. And sometimes he can even do a lot. Like uh, it really depends how much the turn he's going to have. And in this case, it, it might be nice. I'm not sure exactly. Like, where's the war prism? Is it on the way or? Uh, no. Oh, he cancelled it. Yeah. Cancelled. There was a war prism. Okay, well, never mind then. I thought. Uh, yeah, because I. I was wondering whether he might warp in more stalkers, which I don't think would have done too much damage. Because if you blink in, then yeah, you can't really check out. As Nathaniel would say, yeah. it would be pretty hard. <laughs> uh, but maybe like a warp prism into the natural with adepts could have been nice. But on this map, everybody's super aware of how easy it is to get into the natural and do damage. So that's why Jack G when made a bunch of turrets already on his natural, not to allow warp prism to fly in there. He scans across the map, sees Colossus. Immediately, the the second starport is going to go down. Ooh, and fusion core. All right, so the stalker's gonna have to run away from this little fight in a moment. No, guys, this is not for battle cruisers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Be great if he just turned around and did it now for the hell of it. But no, uh, we have even the resonating glaives on the way for a lot of adepts going to be coming in very soon. Yeah, I guess advanced ballistics and a very high um, liberator count mm -hmm. is what's in the plans here for Jack G to try and push with ground plus mass liberator to cover his bio. Yeah. Powerful. And if you can set that up uh, with a strong push towards that base there, it's very hard for Protoss to engage into this. You need a critical amount of stalkers, but we've seen Jack G synergize very well Liberators with Widowmind, so I wonder if he will keep that up, because so far, like Widowmind-wise, he hasn't been making too many at all. Yeah, he really doesn't have uh, much at all in his arsenal. Only two at the moment, just kind of waiting on the wings, just in case. It's almost the idea of that blind spot again, where there is no turrets here, but it is actually protected by two Widowminds. Uh, just in case a wall prison was to come along. So, strong stuff. There's advanced ballistics now being researched. Oh yes. man, I was getting excited because Kelazor brought it back against Trap 1 1. Oh yeah? And I tune in and I see Trap killing a bunch of SCVs in his main. But then they mm -hmm. go to Trap's main and there's Widowmine's bro in his middle <laughs> line. So, hey, Kelazor, maybe with a big upset then, beating Trap, that yeah. would be pretty sick. How many workers did he kill? Something like 21? 11. Oh, okay. All right. They're even on the Walker camera right now. It's being shown on Bay Straight TV if you guys want to check that out as well. So many good games. Yeah. So many good games. It's hard to keep up, man. Uh, three Liberators going to be on the way at any given time now at the moment. And he even sniffed out this pylon on the left-hand side. Jackshi, a man on fire. He sniffed it. Sniffed. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> what? He was so <laughs> sick. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'm always sick, mate. I'm always sick. Advanced Ballistics about to finish. This year is a bit weird. Do you not see upgrades when they finish on the right? Uh, No. And you don't see the walkers dying either on the left? Yeah, because I haven't got the game heart mod created with the... with the. Um, is it not possible or...? What's it called? The players would have to do yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, oh, the players okay. would have to do it. So... All right, then. Can they get to it already or what? <laughs> I wish, I wish. Ooh, Disruptor. Ooh. Okay, where are our Colossi? There they are, three of them in total. Now with the range of a roach. 
Uh, no, not, but uh, yeah, they're, they don't shoot oh, as far as they used to. Outrange by Roach. Outrange. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it! <laughs> Patience, like you never know with him. He might actually, yeah. like, I wouldn't even be surprised if he blinked forward. Stargate going down. Oracle is going to be pretty useful, but you want to take the Tempest as well against the Lord Liberators. Gets the snipe forward. Nice. And then pulls back. And he's going to have to continue doing that if he wants to survive this small onslaught. Slowly moving through the middle of the map. Very slowly at the moment, but with advanced ballistics, it makes it a little quicker. Yeah, picking up some units. And that, well, there is an observer on the edge of this. He starts dropping everything off as well. I think he realized that some of those we picked up. And oh, Scarlet beats uh, well move by the way. Oh, nice. She will face Lenok in the round of 16. Well played, Scarlet. Defeating our Finnish Phenom. And has beat Hero. <laughs> has beat Hero? <laughs> and he's facing Trust in a PvP. Why are we missing this? Should I leave this game again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Has. You wizard of a man. Ah, oh, gotta be careful. Still those liberation zones. Oh, one sentry. Oh, God. They really hit hard. <laughs> that Colossus, two shots. Uh, okay, Disruptor coming in, which uh, can slow down the impending siege. If it just fires one shot off, uh, then again, wait, does he have two? Oh, he does have two. Yeah, it's actually being maxed out here. It's it's looking pretty good for him, but this army of patience is looking pretty scary as well, to be honest. Even though he doesn't have Tempest, he needs to find a way to engage oh, well. Colossus. Colossus being attacked into. Oh, and a Disruptor died as well. Jack, she's being really yeah. efficient about this. He can just attack into this and then pull back uh, into his Liberators whenever, and there is really no way for Patience to properly blink forward there. Yeah. Which I, is his spread what of he would units. love to do. His spread of units is so good here, especially with the posi positions he's protecting as well. Gets a Nexus. Look at the production tab. Jack, she is flying away with this. Hey, this is looking like it could be 2 0 here for Jack G. Yeah and just slowly leapfrogging forwards with the Liberators. Patience is running out of time. He has to kind of go against his name oh, and man. go up against this fight. Shakji, who lost to Innovation yesterday, will get a, a chance at Redemption. Uh, the next matchup, uh, he will face Innovation again. The Gatekeeper, man, he's <laughs> waiting, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Bio can actually have to stim up and try and kill off as much of these stalks as possible. He gets a lot of them. Even some of the probes are dying off as well during all of this. There's been no opportunity for Patience to go for harassment on the other side of the map. And now Patience is he's, he's having his door knocked on. And it's not going to be easy to actually break this position. He has really not killed that many Liberators during this entire siege. Uh, Patience feels like he has to engage, and I think he does have to. He's cleaning up nicely, to be honest, given all circumstances. Like, but uh, he's being pushed by by Jackji, who's got way more supply and doesn't even have his whole army there. Yeah, there wasn't that much uh, healing going down onto the bio at all. He didn't have that many medevacs, and the ones that he did had run out of energy. So, the old switcheroo, musical chairs with these command centers over here. But at the same time, he's setting up a good defense with missile turrets, with liberators and bio, and his fourth is not going to get broken here just yet. The music gets epic now. I like, I like the little bit with the trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> it's so day nine esque. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fifth base going down as yeah, well. Yeah. Upgrade wise, actually, uh, patience not doing super well either. Like you see him start level two ground armor now when the Tian's about to have two to himself. Obviously, that's not good. An ambitious sense tower. But these stalkers are just looking to do any little free bits of damage that they can. Because that's the only thing at the moment really keeping Jack G on the other side of the map. These yeah. stalkers. I think he's going to attack here in a second and uh, probably end it. Like he's got probably too much supply for patience to handle. It's 84 army supply for patience, 119 for Jack G, who's pumping out Vikings 3x3. Three three, so I think that's really what it is. He's respecting the Colossus tech a lot. And actually. Look at it, blink forward into oh. a PF. He does not care one bit. And in the meantime, the big doom drop across the map is going to go uncontested here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And that is a lot of damage that's going to go down here. He's going to get the Robo Bay as well if he wants it. It could kill off anything. And now this is Patience triggering the all-out red alert warning. He's got to do something about this. And he's just going to try and go for the counter fully. And Jack G is reacting to this perfectly. He's going to go up the ramp, make sure he stays there with Vikings. Uh, he's going to have to kill him entirely off with this force. I'm not sure it's going to work here. And even if he did kill off a lot, he could still just fly away his buildings against what we're seeing here from Patience, which isn't going so well here for him at all. 
Still got a lot of Vikings available, and there's not even that many Stalkers to deal with that left over. He's going to lose his entire base at the back. These Colossi trying their best to get towards this army. Jack, she's cornered like a Bull Terrier. He's going to go and lash out at him. He's going to get him. Are you ready? It's exactly the noise that this army makes as they kill the Colossi. There you go. GG. Jack, she wins. 2-0. How you doing? <laughs> are you were you you were busy. I'm uh, I'm Bring filling. Back <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm asking about has this game. Yes. <laughs> we might observe different games. I think uh, oh. we like you can check Innovation Jack G the rematch from yesterday. Yes. And then maybe I'll join Hazis games so that like in after they finish a map or something we can jump from one another or Okay. Is that how it's we, we can try, like <laughs> this is this is StarCraft experimenting. After five and five or six years of uh, online qualifier commentary, we're gonna have the first ever two series cast. Can we uh, very quickly show the brackets. Yeah. I Look think they've it. been, uh, on Liquipedia, they've been doing a very good job, actually, of updating those. Blies uh, through to the round of 16, he will face T.Y. or Bill away. Mm -hmm. That's the qualifying match right there, the quarterfinals, every time. And then Haz is facing Trust. That's the game I'm trying to join now. Yeah. Maru he's going to play against Forte. And then Linux against Scarlet. And then that will be the qualifying match right oh, there. I guarantee TVZ. Awesome. Yeah. So... And maybe, then maybe a Terran, maybe a Zerg to join these guys. Uh -huh. Sorry and Bunny are playing uh, there. Ayasunu will play Kelazo or Trap. It's 1-1 one, one right now. Actually, Kelazo was doing uh, pretty okay, I think, in that last game. Mm -hmm. Yep, he said. And then that's the... Uh, the uh, this bracket is ridiculous. Like, these matches here, they feel like they could be like semi-finals for like SSL or GSL. Sue versus, versus Dream. Dream and Innovation versus Jack G. Like, Jesus. This is, that's this such is a good insane. bracket. That is a really good bracket. I don't know why I'm sat like this. Sorry, hi. Uh, uh, should we do a break real quick before Innovation Jack G? Yes, let's do that. We're going to a break. Uh, I'm going to refuel my G Fuel, and then we are going to be back here for the Intel Extreme Masters qualifiers. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 